This research we're about to look into involves galacto oligosaccharides, complicated names, sounds kind of like science fiction, but it's primarily a prebiotic commonly found in food. And basically reduction of anxiety level, anxiety levels for one. Now keep in mind there are other benefits outside of that too, but this is going to be a great segue into the emergent field of psychobiotics. Now do not confuse that with antibiotics. Psychobiotics is the utilization of beneficial bacteria, primarily prebiotic and probiotic, in improving state of mental well-being. But also too, at the same note, those that have IBS may see the word galacto oligosaccharides and have an immediate aversion. What I'm going to do too towards the end of the research, which is fairly close, uh, I'm going to give you a link to the Monash University and a potential enzyme that they recommend to possibly overcoming this particular barrier and yielding the benefit of galacto oligosaccharides. So without further ado, let us proceed as follows. Research shows consuming prebiotic supplements once a day has a positive impact on anxiety levels. A new study has found that four weeks of daily, just take them once a day, galacto oligosaccharides prebiotic can reduce anxiety levels and result in overall improvement in well-being of young women. The age group is 18 to 25, which we are now going to reiterate a little further. In a paper published in the Journal of Scientific Reports, Researchers investigated whether the daily consumption of a prebiotic food supplement could improve overall well-being in a group of 18 to 25 year olds. The study found that those who received a daily dose, 28 days, 4 weeks, of prebiotics improved mental well-being by reducing anxiety levels and had better gut health than the control group. An interesting note too in the research itself, the galacto oligosaccharide group also had a natural a reduction in sugar intake, which is kind of a good thing to bookmark in your head. But to proceed further into the research, the researchers wanted to reference other studies, the potential reason why the anxiety levels were so significantly reduced in such a short duration of time. We're talking less than four weeks. In this case, for example, studies as early as three weeks, but to proceed as follows. And they, in the full study, all these footnotes are laid out for you so you can go even deeper into the research itself. But to proceed, the intake of galacto oligosaccharides, GOS prebiotic over three weeks, has also been shown to lower, remember referencing another study, lower the secretion of the stress hormone cortisol and emotional processing in healthy adults in comparison to a placebo. Now this is intriguing. In the same study, participants exhibited decreased intentional attentional vigilance to negative information in a dot probe task given that anxious people routinely exhibit increased biases towards negative information which with this suggests that galacto oligosaccharides gos intake may be useful in modifying anxiety related psychological mechanisms henceforth the psychobiotics but before we get into the psychobiotic uh elaboration in the research itself Let's get into the daily dosaging that the researchers used in order to obtain this outcome. Here we go. Participants received either a daily dose of 7.5 grams of the prebiotic galacto oligosaccharides, a particular brand name per se, 7.5 gram powder with approximately 5.5 grams of GOS. Doesn't mean it's not on food as well. So we're going to go down that in, we're going to delve into that in a second. Provided by the company, blah, 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 and or the placebo, blah, 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 for 28 days. All right. Now here it is. This is the emerging field of psychobiotics. It's something simple that is conducive, that forms a symbiotic relationship with the body per se, through the microbiome in order to improve overall state of well-being, including mental in this case. Now, the link itself as follows. I know it's kind of a short segment, but short and sweet. Here we go. The enzyme that is being recommended to Monash University, since we're not a medical channel and we're looking to diagnose or prescribe, this is what Monash University utilizes, alpha galactosidase, alpha galactosidase, galactosidase. Yeah, I can say that three times fast. Galactosidase, galactosidase. I'm not going to go through time. Monash University, as they look through the FODMAP aspect of the diet itself in reference to IBS-sensitive individuals. So again, it's something... For example, with a medical practitioner 
or uh, basically Parker, let's say, that they may want to pursue in a somewhat controlled setting of their own. So that's the enzyme they recommend if those are having an issue with galacto-oligosaccharides from this particular list of food and those that do not and do not want to take a supplement in order to boost alpha, I should say, galacto-oligosaccharides, then additional consumption of this, these foods may be of benefit to you as well. But again, information out there. Link will be out there to the full study. A great, great study on utilizing a simple prebiotic. They go into the references to why they use a prebiotic as opposed to probiotic. Uh, but it significantly had a very dramatic impact in those experience high anxiety as you look through the chart of lowering quite fast over the placebo group. And this was a randomized controlled study. So it was well done. Even though it had what, a 25% dropout rate, which is kind of significant for only a 20-day study. But still, just the same. Great, great study. Great results. Great conjecture into possibly the reasons why. It really helps build security and the confidence in the research and the outcome itself as well. And hopefully a benefit to you. Now keep in mind, the study was just done in 18 to 25-year-old females. Does not mean that that may not benefit other individuals as well. But due to the fact that was how the study designed and the outcome that resulted in that particular age group. I don't want to have publisher bias or delve beyond that particular study group per se. Again, gratitude. Thank you. Look forward to you all once again next week. And again, simple food. Monash University link will be there for you. Enjoy. Catch you all next time. Bye.